Hey, what's up, baby? Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to jailbreak your iOS device running iOS 9, 9.0.1, and 9.0.2. Most devices on this firmware can be jailbroken, but for a full compatibility list, you can check the description below. I'm extremely happy to be showing you how to jailbreak your iOS device, and if you're excited to jailbreak your iOS device as well, make sure to click that like button, as I tried my best to make this tutorial clear and easy to follow. Now, without any further ado, let's head into the tutorial. Alright, now that we're on our Windows computer, we can begin the tutorial. For the record, I am using a Macintosh computer emulating Windows to jailbreak my iOS device because as of the upload date of this video, there is currently not a Macintosh compatible jailbreak tool available. However, if any Mac users are interested in learning how I jailbroke my iOS device using a Mac, hit that like button and if this video exceeds 1000 likes, I'll definitely have that video out for you all tomorrow. Anyways, moving on to actually jailbreaking, an important note is that if your iOS device was updated to 9.0, 9.0.1, or 9.0.2 over the air, aka without a computer, this jailbreak may not work. Therefore, it is much safer and recommended that you back up your iOS device and update to iOS 9.0.2 again using a computer via iTunes. As well as for this tutorial to work, you need to make sure your computer already has a version of iTunes installed, which I'm sure you all have, but if not, you can download it by following the link in the description below and make sure your iTunes version is the most up to date. With all that being said, to begin the jailbreak, open your preferred web browser and type in the URL pangu.io. This will be the website we'll be using to get the jailbreak tool, which also happens to be the website of the amazing developers that made this jailbreak available to us. So huge shout out to the Pangu jailbreak team. And once you're on the site, hit the download button. And when your download is done, go ahead and go into your downloads and open the Pangu jailbreak tool. Now, of course, this download will depend on your internet speed. Speed. Once the Pangu jailbreak tool is open, connect to your iOS device and make sure to trust the computer if you have not done so in the past. Once that's done, you can hit start and you must follow these three steps before doing so, but the only things that we have left to do is turning off our passcode in the settings, which is in touch ID and passcode, as well as if you have a touch ID, make sure to turn that off as well. And finally, turn off find my iPhone by going into your iCloud settings. And once all that's done, put your iOS device into airplane mode and hit already backup to start the jailbreak process. Now, surprisingly, the jailbreak process is very fast. In real time, it only took me about 10 minutes. However, for the sake of the video, I am speeding up the process, but that's pretty fast for your jailbreak. In the past, it has taken me 30 plus minutes to jailbreak my iOS device, and it's pretty cool that this one is pretty fast, so it doesn't take a while for you to get to your jailbroken device. However, this tool does allow you to do some steps to assist it in the jailbreak process. So after it restarts, it'll ask you to unlock your device and put it into airplane mode again. Once you do that, it'll automatically continue with the jailbreak and it'll take you into the next step, which will be to unlock your iOS device again and run the Pangu app. Now, I don't have footage of opening the Pangu app and running it, but I'm sure you guys will see it once you unlock your iOS device and click on the Pangu app. But make sure that when it tells you to unlock your iOS device, lock it and then unlock it again, because for some reasons, when I didn't do that, I had some problems with the jailbreak process. That may not happen to you, but as a precaution, I recommend you lock your iOS device and unlock it if it was already unlocked after it told you to unlock it. But with that being said, once the jailbreak process is done, you know that your iOS device is jailbroken because you have Cydia on your iOS device. But if you still have the Pangu tool open, it'll tell you that your device is already jailbroken. So once it's already jailbroken, go ahead and turn off airplane mode and open the Cydia application. It'll prepare some file systems and then shoot you right back into the lock screen. Unlock your iOS device and open Cydia again. And now, as you can see, I have my iPhone 6S jailbroken on iOS 9.0.2 with Cydia running just fine, which 
is pretty awesome if you ask me. Now, this jailbreak is fairly new if you're watching this video as soon as it was released, so some of the tweaks and applications on Cydia may not be working at this moment in time. However, for example, iFile is working on iOS 9, but for a more complete list, there will be a link in the description below to all the tweaks compatible on iOS 9 as of the release of this video. But as I mentioned, as more time goes on, all the applications and tweaks on Cydia will mostly be updated to work on iOS 9 and to stay up to date with jailbreaking your iOS device and all of that, I highly recommend that you hit the subscribe button for more awesome tutorials like this and if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button as it's greatly appreciated and share it with a friend so they can learn how they too can jailbreak their iOS device.